Yes, guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I will be doing a video of the Gower Site Historic Area by UNESCO World Heritage Site, which is in Bridgetown, Barbados, starting from by the site, by the outside of the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School. So this is the outside of the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School where I received my secondary education. Good evening, good evening. So this is the side gate of the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School. And this is the grotto here, which is a new housing development in the area. The grotto. These houses only started built here about 2014, 2015. So this area is known as Darkey, St. Michael. This left turn here will take you by the Culloden Road. Culloden Road via Beckles Road. You can see the SO gas station down here. The SO gas station at Culloden Road, St. Michael. And this road will take you by the Britain's Hill via Darkey Hill. And this is the Darkey Methodist Church here which dates back to 1840 and this was the first church in Barbados to receive electricity in 1911 I had a dark heath. this was this building here next door to the church is the old school building which is known as the, which is used as the church hall now so this is dark heath Methodist church here which received electricity in 1840. I mean, it was built in 1840 and received electricity in 1911. That is the year that electricity came to Barbados. So this is known as Britain's Hill now. Britain's Hill. And this is the side wall for the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School. This is where I received my secondary education. Here are the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School. And again, the Dark East Methodist Church here. So this is Dark East Hill now, leading you back to Britain's Hill. Oh, we're going to go up halfway up and then turn back. So this is Darkie Hill in St. Michael. And you can see the Ephesus Seven Day Adventist Church, which is linked to the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School. This is the Seven Day Adventist Secondary School here. The Barbados Seven Day Adventist Secondary School where I received my secondary education. Let's go walking down Darkie Hill. And again, this is Darkie from after this church here. And this is Darkie Village that will be about a color on as well. This is the right Stumble West company that sells the beds and so on. And Darkie from after this church here, which we see with electricity in 1840. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, it's straight down the Colonna Road, uh, Beckles Road. And the brief history of the Stavon Day Adventist School. The secondary school was established in 1953, and the primary school was established in 1897. <coughs> and this is the grotto, which is the new housing unit complex, which was built sometime around 20, 2013, I mean 2014, 2015, around that thing. So this is Darkie, St. Michael. All the grotto housing unit complex. And this is the exit <coughs> and entrance to the Savannah yeah, Adventist Primary. A secondary school. My principal at Seven Day School at the time was Dr. Cummings, Dr. Cecil Cummings. I think the principal now is Miss Annette Aline. She taught me when he first came here. Let's go back to Darkie. So I attended the secondary school, Seven Day Adventist Secondary School from 2005 to 2011. All the grotto here, which is the new housing unit complex. Years ago, the grotto was just all here was just bush on a lonely road leading down to the um the, super, the little supermarket they had that you saw on the vegetable place that they had down behind there. But now things get changed now a lot. So this is dark teeth now. This is also a part of the garrison and star area. And UNESCO were heritage site in Bridgetown, Barbados. All the grotto housing area, housing development here. Okay, this is Balance Avenue here, which is a cul-de-sac. I will lead back to the side of the Savannah Adventist. Secondary primary school, sorry. And this is the former air condition company, which is RES. This stands for Refrigeration Electrical Services, RES. But it closed down, and the man who owned it, Mr. Kinch, has also passed away. This is the NUPW, NUPW, which stands for the National Union of Public Workers. RES. The building is just here, abandoned now, since Mr. King passed away. RES, which stands for Refrigeration Electrical Services. They were the agents for Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Air Conditioning Units and General Air Conditioning Units as well. Uh, yes, were the agents for Mitsubishi and General Air Conditioning Units. And down behind here is the Bearland Bearville area. Down behind here is the Bearland Bearville area. 
and this blue house here is where I used to live for yeah, half of my lifetime down here is the BLM Bearville area and this is the NUPW which stands for the National Union of Public Workers all behind here is the BLM Bearville area and this is the NUPW which stands for the National Union of Public Workers And this blue apartment building is where I used to live. I used to live in this apartment years ago, up until about 2016 when I moved out. The Horea Shock Complex, known as the NUPW. That's great. My old apartment here, where I used to live. All the NUPW. That's great. And this is Parat Road here, Parat Road to here. That's the no walking down towards the garrison. So Parat Road is where you will find the garrison secondary school. And as the, which is now referred to as the Great and Sealy Secondary School. So okay, looking back to Paddock Road and Darkeith Road. So this is all Darkeith Road. Yes, guys. And this is the Frederica shop here, which was around this neighborhood for many years. This is the shop here. It is run by a very for the middle of Mr. Trevor Grant. Down behind here, we take the body Chelsea Road and Bear Street, and uh, along to the Bearland, Bearville, Bearland area as well. This is all darky throughout. And this is the stables here for the horses at the garrison. We have our stables here at the paddock. Okay, all the paddocks here, the horse stables here. We can back up to Darky Road. I'm in the parish of St. Michael once again in the garrison historic area and we're next to our houses site on the Keith Road and this is the wall for the Barbados Museum And this is the horse stables here, where the horses sleep at the garrison. This is the garrison historic area and UNESCO World Heritage Site in Bridgestone, Barbados.
Um, this is all the Barbados Museum. A historic society here. The Barbados Museum and the Starwood Society over here. All the hard stables here. All the garrison. And this is the Garrison Barbados Museum here. And this is the road to take you back to Bushu where the prostitutes play their trade on a nightly basis. Also, at the Garrison as well. This is Bushu over here. Right, this is all. Race track at the garrison over here where the horses race. And this is the Barbados Museum and Historic Society over here. All the Barbados Museum and Historic Society over here. Come back at the horse tables at the garrison. Bus show and to the other side of the garrison. All the horse racing track of the garrison. Where the horses race. This is the race track of the garrison. Where the horses race. Here is the rear strap where the horses race. And this is the block A at the garrison where the Nelson statue is now located. So the garrison is a historic and military area. The garrison is a historic area in many ways. It is the place where Barbados held its first independence ceremony on the night of the 30th of November 1966. Under the leadership of the first Prime Minister, father of independence and national hero, the white excellent Edward Walton Barrow, he led us into independence and the, and the ceremony was here on the night of the 30th of November 1966. This is all the, also the place where Sir Garfi Sorbos was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II herself when she came to Barbados and knighted Sir Garfi Sorbos on this garrison here. On, in 1975, she made him a sir. This is also a military area where soldiers used to fight back in 1600s, 17, 18, and early 1900s. The garrison is also our only horse racing venue in Barbados. And it was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site on the 25th of June 2011. See the clock tower over here at the garrison as well. And this is block B here where CXC is. So these were all block these were all barracks for the garrison as well. Block B where CXC Barbados is, Caribbean Examination Council. And the last one around the corner here is block C where the town country planning office is. So 
this road here at the left here now, this road here now will lead back to Darrow's Road, and back to Dayton Road, and St. Matthias, and Christchurch. Yes, guys. This is the garrison, historic area, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Bridgestone, Barbados. Thank you guys for watching now. I have a blessed evening. Can hear the clock chiming at the garrison? The clock tower. Can hear the clock chiming. So thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.